What's the first movie you can name that's gothic? Nosferatu, Into with a Vampire, Sleepy Hollow, Suspiria. Perfect choices that have captured the essence that has defined many genres. You can't enjoy Halloween without it, which is why I picked two to start off the season. Celebrating its 90th anniversary, James Wales, The Old Dark House. Good evening. We've come to ask for shelter. We've lost our way. We're absolutely cut off. Don't you understand? We can't go forward and we can't go back. The road's blocked on both sides. Landslide. A group were lost in the Welsh valleys during a major storm. Unable to move, they braved the storm to find shelter. And they come across an old country house. Does that sound familiar to you? How'd you do, I? Odd family members, a drunken butler, and the eldest son locked in his room. What's worse, the house or the storm? A great cast, a great crew. James Whale shown why he is one of the greatest horror directors. The great Gloria Stewart. Oscar winners Charles Lawton and Melvin Douglas. And of course, the scene stealer, Boris Karloff. Now this was made between Frankenstein and the Invisible Man, and even though it didn't centre around a particular person, like those in Dracula, the formula brought people in their droves. But some bad publicity in America forced it out of the cinemas within the first two weeks. Here in the UK it fared much better and broke box office records. But after this it seemed to disappear and was considered lost until a print was discovered in 1969 by Wales' friend, the filmmaker Curtis Harrington. This discovery took place after Hammer produced a remake directed by the gimmick king, William Castle. Today is praised as an atmospheric gothic masterpiece. And as I alluded to a moment ago, it was an inspiration for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror is regarded as the greatest cult movie ever made. And without the old dark house, the stage, the big screen, you and I would be all the more poor. Listen, why should we bother about the lamp? Let us wait here for a few minutes and then go back and say that we couldn't find it, or that it's broken. I can't see the point. Yes, but why should we trouble about the lamp if we don't want to? I said we'd get it, so why shouldn't we get it? Yes, but why should we if we don't want to, and I don't want to? But this is absurd. I... Brought to you today by Candyman's Man Candy, celebrating 30 years of meaty goodness.